All right, boys and girls, we're gonna work on uh, our new math packet again. This was chapter six. We just got started on it yesterday, called subtraction. Uh, yesterday, when we did our pages, they showed us pictures of, of kids together, and some were walking away, and they were calling it takeaway. Today, what we're gonna do is use the 10 frame, and we're gonna use the uh, minus sign. Okay, this is a symbol. It kind of looks like the plus sign, but instead of putting a line across and up and down like a T, it's just a straight line across. It means minus or take away. Okay, so I was gonna show you this one before we do the pages. Okay, the first problem on the page they're showing us is this, okay? All right, I see one, two, three, four, five, yellow, plus two red on the bottom equals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now this is addition, right? We're adding the top row and the bottom row together. Five plus two equals seven. Now remember when we do take away, it's the opposite of addition. We're gonna start with the big number, which is seven. We're gonna start with the total. So if I wanna make this into a take away or subtraction problem, I'm gonna start with seven. Okay, now if we take away the two on the bottom, the red ones, seven take away two, then we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five left. All right, seven all together. If we take these two away, here, I'm just gonna cover them up. Then we have the five on the top, or we could start with seven and take the five on the top away, and then we would be left with two on the bottom. Okay, well that's the, what they're showing us. Okay, so if it was addition, we'd be saying five plus two equals seven. But we're not doing addition right now, we're doing takeaway. So in takeaway, you always have to remember to start with the total. So how many all together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're gonna take away or minus, this is the minus symbol, two. That means if we take away two, that means we're taking away the red ones, right? So I'm gonna put a big X on those. Okay. If we take away the two on the bottom, I'm gonna cover them up. Then we're left with one, two, three, four, five. The five on the top, okay? Now we could have done the opposite. We could have said seven take away five is two, okay? But the one they chose to do right now is seven take away two is five. Okay, now this one, they're telling us we're gonna have eight all together and we're gonna minus or take away one. They're, oops, sorry, they're giving us the number. And it says to draw them on there. You could use your counters. If you wanna get your counters out and use them, that would be great. But then I do want you to draw them because I want you to be able to see it on there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, they want us to take away or minus one. And you guys, don't do the one at the top. Do the very last one that you drew, okay? And the reason why is, I'm gonna exit out. And the reason why is, and this is gonna be easier to count, okay? Because we're used to seeing five on the top and two more, seven, right? So we started with eight, we took that one away, and then we're left with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight take away one is seven. I'm gonna go back and color that later. So if I was taking this away, if we colored that, then here, maybe I'll do it right now. Then I'm gonna say that we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven yellow, and one red. And the red is the one that we took away. Okay, and then we're gonna do this one. This time it's 10 minus, oops, I feel like that, is that the right one? Yeah, it is. 10 minus four. Now, if you wanna use your counters and put 10 counters down and then take away four, then you, that would be a great thing. But I also want you to draw it because once you take those counters away, then I can't see what you did. If you draw it, then I know, then I know what you did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So I'm gonna color those later, but I'm gonna start with 10. We start with the total, the big number first. Now we're gonna take away or minus four. 
So remember, don't take away these four. Don't take away these four. You wanna start on the bottom with the last one that you drew. So I'm gonna take away one, two, three, four. The reason we do that is if I take away these four, then I, I know automatically that it's five and one is six. We want the kids to get used to seeing the, um, the counters in the 10 frame in that order. The top is all filled up and one more is six. So I'm gonna take away four. And that leaves me with one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now let me go ahead and color it. So what that would be is one, two, three, four, five, six, and then these four are going to be red. So remember, takeaway is just the opposite of addition. So when you are looking at this, you might say six yellow plus four red is 10. But when we do subtraction, we start with the 10 first. 10 take away four is six. So now on the back of this page, I think there's a little story problem. Let me put on my glasses so I can read it. Juanita has nine apples. One apple is red. So let me draw those nine apples. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One apple is red. Okay, the rest of the apples are yellow. Well, I'm gonna just do this apple red. If there's nine all together and this one is red, then the rest of them are gonna be yellow. So let me color all these yellow. Okay, right, the number that shows how many apples are yellow. Well, we know that there's nine apples all together and they told us that one was red. So if we take that red one away, that gives us how many yellows are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's the opposite of addition, nine apples, one is red, so the rest are yellow. And that's it. Okay, good job. What I do.